Hello everyone, welcome back to the Wind Waker. Oh fuck, your sword landed all the way up there? Shoot, I'm sorry, I apologize. I guess my aim was off by a little bit. Anyways, in the last episode we explored the pirate ship left outset island and now we're going to explore this fortress. I actually know about a lot of secrets around here, so it should be fun. Hehe, <laughs> look on your face, priceless. <laughs> I split this splone head. I slipped this stone into your pocket just before you, we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone either. So I guess Tetra got this magical rock that she put in my pants. I can see what you're doing through this. She must have been when she raped me. Did she rape me with that? I can see what you're doing through this stone. And obviously you can hear me through it. So if you see A, you better press that button. The thing is, I never look at that part of the screen when I'm playing, so I'm not going to see it. I put the stone on your quest status screen. Press start and use L or R to scroll around. It's pretty basic. Hey, but listen carefully. I need this back after you save your sister. So don't go around losing it, you understand. Alright. Well, this is the sixth episode of this series. So this series is out of its infancy and onto childhood. This is when the game starts getting pretty good and it just gets better from here on out. So, here it is. The official, true good beginning of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Maybe this wasn't the best idea. I'm just looking for a way to get these rupees, but crap, maybe I should have used the barrels? Because if you got spotted by the spotlights, I'll tell you one thing. It is not good at all. So this fortress is actually pretty simple. I might be able to do it in a couple episodes. Oh crap! Stay away. So now you're going to see what happens when you get caught by the spotlights you get thrown in jail but your guard disappears magically because there's no one there who threw you in so you got thrown in jail by a ghost that's basically what happens in this game but honestly it's no big deal because there's a secret close to here that i would very much like to exploit and act like i found on my own when i really used a guide <laughs> actually i already knew about this one but i used a guide the first time i found it so it's a bit of a cheap shot here we go. Come on, Link. Uh, so I'm gonna break. I'm trying to break all the pots. The reason I'm breaking so many is because I'm trying to max out my amount of rupees. You can have up to 200 at this point in the game. I'm trying to max that out. It, it changes pretty much later, though. Right after the second dungeon, you can get up to a thousand. All right, what's in here? You got the map! You got the dungeon map, aka easiest dungeon map to get in any dungeon in a Zelda game because it's like right at the beginning. So if you go down here, get past all these barrels. Do I get any rupees from these? No, not even. You press this switch. Oh, there's one. Press the switch, open. You can go in here, and there... Uh, you can break these, you know. <laughs> Link's such a dick. He just loves breaking stuff. Like, ugh. I don't care whose mug this was. Why is there even a mug in jail? Alright. Check this out. You got the thing! It's a piece of heart. Collect four of these to complete a new heart container. So I'm sure you, most of you already know this. But if you get another heart container, if you get another, sorry, if you get up to four of those, you get an extra heart. And there's like 40 in the game, I believe, so. Basically, you can get a lot of ass of fucking hearts, so. I am trapped in this room. Those are the Moblin guards. I hate them. You have to be really sneaky. They're also really stupid because they can't notice a barrel that's moving by itself. Because if you stay in the barrel, you're fine. As long as they don't see it move, like you're right in front of them, they'll be fine. Mobile and idiot guards. Not the most realistic enemies, but they are dangerous. I guess that's what really matters in a game like this. Not realism. The danger. Move, you asshat. Thanks. So, I actually know how to do this dungeon pretty quickly. Because I've played this game 
couple of times. And I need to get the fuck out of here. Are there any moblins in here? No. Got an easy room. Thank God for that. Alright. Uh, what the fuck? Thanks. Was... Alright, well now I'm back out here. I had a minute miniature recording in a... In the, I had a miniature in... Uh, I've been recording way too long today. I had a miniature recording. No, do not catch me again. I had a miniature recording. There we go, maxed out. I actually am going to be caught again on purpose because I know a secret. Not really a secret. I know a shortcut that'll make this level half as long. Break the pot. The thing that sucks about uh, maxing out my wallet is that now I won't be able to get any more rupees, which sucks. Thing, when I first played this game, I didn't get a better wallet upgrade at all until it was too late, and I had 200 rupees by the time I finished like the Wind Temple. And because of the quest you need to do at that point in the game, let's just say it was a very bad idea. Oh, fucking hell. I was hoping to get up there. It was a shortcut, and then I fell. As you can see, I am obviously... It might just be- it might actually be faster just to let him catch me. Alright, well I know a shortcut that makes this like half as quick, and I was trying to show it before, but... I got caught like eight times and there was an interruption, so I'm basically screwing myself over if I suck complete ass. I- what the f- oh my god. Zoom right into his face like that. It looks beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know why it's not even that funny, what am I doing? What's the Moblin that's doing? Why did that go up first? Okay. So what you need to do is you need to take out each of the three spotlights in order to progress in this level. And you don't have your swords. The only thing you can use to fight is a stick. However, it does like just as much damage, so it doesn't really matter. Even if it is harder to swing. <laughs> just beat him to death with it, I kind of feel... This is brutal. He didn't even hit me. He's gone. A gone goner gone death man. Okay, now what? So now we have to figure out where the other two are. There's one over there. And I will go to that spotlight and... Well... Kill the guards so that I can get up to the top of the tower. Come on. Let's do this into the door the pit the door so is there a is there one up here i don't actually remember where these are oh there's one up there though but i can't get there yet hold on there might be a spotlight i can get right here yes there is perfect tatro is trying to talk to me i could see that little message thing up here but nope so, I'm trying to kill this man. Stupid fucking moblin. Uh. Oh crap! He almost got me. I didn't even see him and he was like jumping right there. I feel kind of dumb now. Okay, he's dead. No big deal with him anymore. He. Thing is, I kind of feel bad about these Zelda enemies. Like makes them outright evil. We're just killing them. Okay, now I want to go over there. Whip. Little jumping shortcut. Oh, crap. No! Oh, my God, I almost fell. That would have been disaster, because I would have had to do this all over again. Again. Why does Tetra eat keep trying to talk to me? I look to listen to what she has to say for once. Listen up, Luigi. There's a monster running the searchlight up there. If you can slay the monster, then just maybe it'll shut the shirt lights, sure shall. Oh, but you're unarmed, aren't you? All you have is a shield. If I were you, I'd try to use my shield to deflect the monster's blows and see- Okay, I know about this. I was- What? I didn't use my shield. That's brilliant. How do I even use my shield? I guess I have to be, like, in combat. Z-locked. Alright. Where is the- 
Oh, there it is. Little stick. I'm gonna throw this pot at him. <laughs> it didn't even hit him. But I noticed he noticed I'm here now. Die. What about these sticks does so much damage? Like, you can kill these guys by hitting them with a stick five times. Like, in real life, you don't really beat someone to death with a stick. Oh, look, a joy pendant. You got a joy pendant. You can keep it in your spoils bag. These things are really important to have later in the game. So, yes, you should collect them. Even if they seem rather useless because of this butterfly necklaces. You can't even wear them. I wish you could. That'd be epic. The butterfly on your chest. <laughs> Anyways, in the next episode of Wind Waker, we will finish the Forsaken Fortress and see what lies after that. I've been Isaac. And this is the creepiest outro I've ever done.